Kusi. Asante and I grew up together in the village. We went to the same school, but Asante had to leave to the city. Shortly after my father died, my uncle inherited everything. I received a treatment for my family members as they still fought over my late father's properties. This drove me to decide to live with my childhood friend, Asante, in the city. Every night was game after game. For a while, I noticed Abigail and Asante, but pretended everything was good whenever I was around. Did you have any encounter with her before leaving the house? Before I left the house, she was complaining of a feeling and asked me to call Sewa on the phone for her. I don't know the content of the conversation they had. So, during and after that period, where was your friend, Asante? Asante didn't sleep home the night before. When I returned from work, I began was alone asleep. I tried calling Asante, but he wasn't reachable. So when I left the house the next morning, I went to Asante's workplace to check up on him, but he wasn't around. I tried calling him several times, but to no avail. I got home after work to find a lot of people. With my thoughts racing, I entered the room. There I saw Asante. I couldn't ask anything but to ask of Abigail. I didn't kill Abigail.
The postmortem we conducted on her indicates that Abigail died from drug overdose. We went on to check her last dialed call and it was to a certain seller. We went to your house to ask from your friend Ashanti if he by chance knows any Sewa, only to find uh, his lifeless body on the road. We had no other option but to call Sewa. She's here and she wants to talk to you. interest in our relationship. We haven't had sex in a while and I haven't been giving him much attention and now Asante thinks it's because of Pussy. Why would he think that? I don't know. Just... Okay. Okay. Abigail called me the morning before she died. And told me that Asante had had dragged and raped her the night before. But I, I should have said something, anything. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. 